Hi, my name is Albert Dunford. In this tutorial video, we are going over some of the improvements in uh, SimView, our waveform monitoring program, to help me uh, show some of the new features. I've got a 10-level uh, MMC inverter here, a three-phase inverter. So there's uh, each level is a um, is a half bridge, and then we've got a uh, 10 of them stacked. So there's 120 active switches. Uh, here, and then I've got all my gating signals down here. This is just an open loop. Okay, so here are the, the simulation results from that simulation. We've got uh, the th uh, phase currents up at the top here. We've got the phase uh, voltages, and we can see the different levels from that multi-level inverter. Uh, each one is giving us 1,000 volts. And then down at the bottom here, I have all of the gating waveforms from uh, the phase A top-level switches, so all of these ones. Uh, and what we can do to better analyze the timing or the relative timing here is we can right click on uh, on the y axis here and go to timing display and now we see all of them uh, lined up there so we can look at the relative timing it looks like a one zero should down to, down to the bottom there but we can see the the relative gating pulses there uh, we can get to that same point by going up and clicking on the y-axis and going back to, uh, let's click on this one, y-axis, going back to normal will get us back to the original point we were at. Um, or what else can we do? Uh, yeah, go back to timing. And I'll make some other tutorial videos that talk about uh, some of these other features that are now available as part of uh, version 12. So that was uh, version 12. Uh, timing display and how you can now use that to look at the relative timing of different signals to each other uh, easily. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Look for more tutorial videos on the improvements in version 12.